Not that they couldn't. They wouldn't. Amen. That's right. And we have to pay for the choices we make. Yes. But it starts here. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Starts here. The mind even has breakdowns. Yes, and even sometimes suicide mm -hmm. when it's not dealt with. Mm -hmm. That's right. When you don't bring that mind back into submission to Christ, back into the, to the Word of God, back into the will of God, yeah, anything's possible. To torment that mind. Anything will, that's an open door. See, that's what the Bible said give the devil no place, even in your mind, because you give him place, boy, he just comes in like gangbusters. And before you know it, if you don't deal with it, my God, he takes over. Then comes, then comes the tormentors, then comes their demons, then comes all hell on earth, then comes all kinds of troubles, and, 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 and the next thing you know, you're getting a divorce, the next thing you know, you're, you're, your mind's failing, your health's failing, your finances are bankrupt, everything, because you're fighting God, instead of surrendering. Mm. I've met some people, yes, even Christians that have backslidden and the Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 8 talks about those that resist the truth that's what I'm talking about they resist the truth they just resisted the pastor they say I didn't write the book I'm just a mailman delivering the message but they resist it let's see what happens to them they resist the truth because they are corrupt in their minds. There it is right there. Read it. 2 Timothy 3.8 They're corrupt in their minds and reprobates concerning the faith. I could preach an hour on that. That's what, I've seen it happen so many times over these years. Let me quote it again. So you can let it sink in. These type of people that we're talking about today. And we're not judging anybody. Okay? But it happens. Sad to say. It breaks our heart. As ministers, it breaks our heart. People that love God's love flows through you to try to help people all, but they, they refuse. And because of that, it says they're resisting the truth. When you give them the truth, they don't want to hear it. When you counsel with them, they run out of the building mad, fighting God. Like I'm giving them my advice. It's I'm giving them God's word. So they're resisting the truth. And when they do that, he said they get corrupt minds. They have corrupt minds and they become reprobates concerning the faith. The way of life. The way this Bible tells us where to live. They reject it. Romans chapter 1 verse 28 tells us some did not want to think about God, so he gave them over to a reprobate mind to do all the evil things they wanted to do. God says, here, you want that? Go get it. God said, that's how you want to live? Lord, I hate. God says, that's how you want to live? Go to it. You have a free will. The same God that gave us the Bible, the same God that gave us all these good things, the same God that gives us a mind, gives us a free will. Now, he says, he even tells us how to think. He tells us how to live. He tells us how to do everything. But if we don't want to do it, he said, then you're a reprobate. You go ahead. Go do your own thing. But you'll suffer for it. And my God, have we seen him suffer. That's why. Because they resist in their mind. They, re, they are reprobates because they don't even want to think about God. They pretend. They pretend to even come to church. They pretend, but my God, their spirit's just not right with God. They're not truly born again. Wheat and tares, sheep and goats. Come on, coming to church don't make you no more saved than the man in the moon. Amen. Jesus saves. Amen. Amen. And if you're not born again, you need to be. Amen. And it says that their works intend and takes them to death. Mm. They end up dying and going to hell. Titus chapter 1, verse 16. Whew. They pretend, they profess that they know God. Jesus. Listen, but in their works, 
See? Now, we're not saved by work, but we're saved to work. And we're saved when you love God, you're working for God. So I want to make that clear before we go on. They profess that they know God, but in their works, they deny Him. Being reprobates mm, and disobedient Jesus. with every good work, mm. listen, they are reprobate. My God. In other words, they can't even do good things. Jesus. It shows up in the evil way. Their actions, their talk, they can root everything. Mm -hmm. Go out on an outing, and if they're reprobates, before the day's over, they'll ruin the whole thing. Jesus. They'll ruin the Jesus party. Mm -hmm. Preach it, Pastor. Ooh. What does the work really mean? You see, he said, now, one who falls, a reprobate means this. One who fails to pass a test. God tests us. He doesn't tempt us. Because the Bible said, let no man think that God tempts any man because God don't tempt any man. Man is tempted when he's driven away by his own lust and the intents of his heart. That's what the Bible said. So here we have, they, they fail the test that God puts before us. Amen. And therefore, listen, the scripture, and then therefore they reject God. And then God has to leave them into their own corruption. Because they refuse God, God has to refuse them. That is a reprobate. Someone who rejects God over and over, refuses to repent, refuses to live for the Lord. Oh, they'll, they'll, they'll flirt with, with the Bible. You know? But they'll flirt with the world at the same time. Ooh. My God. You see, this, this, this building right here, this, this should be packed to capacity. They should be fighting to get in the door. They, they should, we have to put speakers outside for the, the overflow crowd. You see, uh, people would have to demand a second and a third service. There'd be so many people for this building. Why isn't there? Because of what I'm preaching about today. Because of what I'm preaching about today. Turned over to reprobate minds. Ooh. So how can they want to serve God? He's not, we read it. He's not even in their thoughts. Eh, church, take it or leave it. No big deal. You know what I mean? I'll go when I feel like it. I'll grace the church and the people when I get there. That's, a, that's close to being a reprobate mind. So what is the answer? How can we get the victory over our mind? Being you ask, I'm going to share with you. Amen. 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 How many want to know? Ah, right, good. Come back next week. <laughs> I think we got enough time to get through it. 2 Corinthians, if you're writing it down, 2 Corinthians, I'm going to go through a little quicker. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 and 5. This is the key for all of us. I, listen, I've done this. I'm still learning it myself. Okay? 43 years and I'm still practicing this verse myself because it's an everyday battle, everyday choice how we're going to feed or not feed our mind. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 and 5. For the weapons of our warfare, notice we need weapons and notice we're in a warfare, Sir. are not carnal, worldly thinking. Carnal means worldly mind, thinking of but mighty through God. Through who? Can only do it through God. Through God. To what? Pulling down of the strongholds. Casting down imaginations. You either cast down those imaginations or those imaginations will cast you down. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. I don't care what it is. Demon spirits and high places, high things, he said, are people on earth, it doesn't matter where, but you've got to be able to cast it down, amen, or it will tear you down. And especially if it goes against the knowledge of God. This is the knowledge of God right here, the Word of God. Amen. If it's contrary to the Word of God, cast it down. <coughs> Bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. And bringing into captivity. See, you don't need to be captive. You need to be free. Amen. So you have to bring every thought into captivity. Amen? Every thought to the obedience of Christ. So there is our part. We have to be obedient to Christ, 
Bring every thought because they're coming. Fiery darts are coming. The world, everything's being mixed up. It's all coming, coming, coming. And you've got to discern through all that fog. You've got to discern through all that kind of thing and bring it into captivity. What is it? you got to separate it. What is it of God goes over here? Cast it away. What is of God you want in your mind? What is it you pull out of your mind? Anybody getting anything out of this today? Amen. You ought to have a better mind when this is your IQ ought to jump up. After today. Amen. Ooh. See, this scripture I just read is something the uh, rebellious person, the reprobate, don't want to do. Don't want to do. They don't want to listen to the word of God. James 4, 7, quick. Submit. That means yield. Commit. Yourselves, therefore, to God. Then resist the devil and he will flee from you. You wonder why the devil stays on your case so much? Because you don't resist You don't resist him, number one, and you don't submit. You don't yield yourself to God. You're trying to fight that battle in your flesh, in your mind, but you'll never win. you got to yield it to the Lord. Your mind, your body, your soul, everything. Amen? Amen. Amen. Ooh, that sounds pretty much like the one we just read in 2 Corinthians. Only then can you win the battle for your mind. Romans chapter 12, verse 2, going quickly. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed, listen, by the renewing of your mind. You can't think like the world no more. You're not of the world no more. You've got to renew that mind daily. Amen? Amen. That you what? How? Why? Because you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God is. That's why you do it. So that you can prove that you're Amen. going to live what you preach, what you think, what you tell others to do. Amen? Amen. Quickly, Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which also is in Christ Jesus. Let this mind, what mind? Christ Jesus, his mind. Think like him. Be in you. Amen. That we might what be willing to be... Listen, you either break... Or get broken. Amen. Your hands are too short to box with God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Quickly, stand with me as we begin to close. Second Timothy chapter one verse seven. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, of love, and a sound mind. It never intended for you to be fearful. It's a spirit from hell. God wants you to be powerful. He wants you to have a sound mind. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. Now in closing. My Lord. Colossians 1. 21. And you. That were sometimes. Woo, a mess. Bible said, abominable. You were a mess. And enemies. In your own mind. Listen to what it says. You were an enemy in your own mind. Jesus. By wicked works. Yet now, He, God, has reconciled you to Him. If you're truly born again. Have you been reconciled to Christ? Mm. Have you come out of your own mind and put on the mind of Christ? Let Him do the thinking through you. Not that you're a robot, but you're a willing vessel. Because you know if you think like He thinks, you're going to be victorious. You're going to be powerful. You're going to be anointed. You're going to break the devil's back in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You're going to break in half every one of those fiery darts that he throws at you. And we all need to hear this. From the pulpit to the pews. It's an ongoing thing. Nobody's arrived yet. Hallelujah. But if you've been tormented in your mind, if you haven't been using your mind properly, today's a good day to repent. Today's a good day to put your mind on Christ. If you want to follow me in this prayer, you're welcome to it. Amen. For salvation, rededication, renewing our minds. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Lord, to help me renew my mind. If I'm not saved properly, open my eyes, open my heart, and I might be saved right. If I'm backslidden in my mind, Give me the mind of Christ. The, mind of Christ. The, wheel the wheel to come back and serve you right. And serve you right. Lord, Lord, I yield myself to you. I yield myself
Help me to renew my mind. Daily. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give him a praise. Hallelujah. Give him a praise. From your heart. Your mind. The Bible even tells us how to love God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. Hallelujah. It's every part of us. God bless you. We love you. Enjoy all 